Welcome to this rest and digest video where we'll be looking at stress and how this impacts our gut health and more specifically then how our gut health impacts our mental health. So this may be new to you but there are trillions of bacteria within our gut and we know that these bacteria can have a direct impact on our mental well-being. This is through a variety of different ways, which we'll shortly touch upon. However, we know this is so important because scientists have even found specific strains of bacteria, and they call them psychobiotics, that these bacteria can directly improve our mental health. So these bacteria within our gut also can create other really important mental well-being, hormones and neurotransmitters, Things like serotonin, our happy hormone, GABA, that feeling and that hormone that helps us relax, and also dopamine, that feel good reward feeling. So it's really important that we need to be able to support our gut health to be able to improve our mental health. And the reason that the, there is such a link is because we've got this nerve that connects the two called the vagus nerve. And you might want to visualise that as a little bit of a motorway, travelling between your brain and your gut, sending all of these different information all the time, one of them being how we're feeling. Interestingly though, we know that 80% of the messages from our gut are actually going up to our brain through the vagus nerve. So it's our brain that's being less chatty um, and our gut doing all of the talking. In fact, you might have actually realised this communication before. If you felt something like butterflies in your tummy, that's a really good example of how our gut talks to our brain. So we've got the vagus nerve that talks and communicates from our gut to our brain. And we've got the bacteria that can have a real influence of our emotions and how we feel. Unfortunately though, when we're stressed, these two mechanisms can be impacted. One of the things in terms of our gut bacteria is that when we're stressed, they tend to be less healthy. One of the reasons is our, bl our blood flow is no longer going to our gut and creating a really healthy gut environment. It's going to our arms and our legs because our body thinks we might need to fight or flight. The other thing that's impacted is that vagus nerve because when we are really stressed, that vagus nerve gets shut off and actually the communication stops, which is why sometimes when we are really stressed, we might notice that we get certain stomach complaints. So what we ideally want to be doing throughout the working day is looking at our stress and seeing how we can minimize that. And a side effect of this is that we're really gonna be able to support our gut bacteria, which is really chatty. We wanna be happy and healthy, so it chats positive messages to our brain. Um, but we also want to make sure that this really incredible motorway of messages, the vagus nerve, isn't switched off. So one of the ways that we can really make sure that we're in our rest and digest, rather than our fight or flight mode, is actually really simple. And it's all about tuning into our breath. So hear me out here. So scientists have found that simply taking five deep breaths is enough to move you from that fight or flight mode to that rest and digest mode where our bacteria is feeling good and our vagus nerve is working. So what it could be is if you're starting to feel those first sensations of stress, so maybe you're breathing in your chest really shortly, you might notice you're getting warm, agitated, and um, some people hold their breath when they're stressed. The first instance that you notice this is to tell yourself just to take five deep breaths. And if you really want to maximise the impact of these breaths, the scientists have found that belly breathing is an extra double whammy to really soothe your nervous system. What I mean by that and what you can visualise is almost like you've got a balloon in your tummy and when you're breathing, you breathe into your stomach area rather than high up in your chest. This is helpful because this is a really simple way of triggering to your nervous system that you're relaxed and actually that you're safe. So what I want you to do over the next few weeks or the next few hours ideally is tune into your stress levels. When are you feeling stressed? What time of day are you most stressed? And 
just remind yourself to take five deep breaths. Tell your colleagues, maybe tune in, um, make a note of how you feel after, and hopefully you find that really, really helpful to support your stress levels and also support those trillions of bacteria in your gut that are really trying to make you feel as good as possible.